Hey, gang. Welcome to the Are You Garbage Comedy Podcast. Please make sure you subscribe. That way you get the episodes as they come out. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. (laughs) Hey, everybody out there. And welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Mm -hmm. It's a show where we sit down with your favorite comedians and we find out if they grew up classy or if they're an absolute trash. (laughs) I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're back here, Aunt Tootie's basement. Sure. The bed bugs are gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I yeah. want everybody to know that the bed bugs are gone. Fleas are back. But what still. I heard from Mary Jo Finnery, all right, over at the deli was that one when we were away last sure. week, Tootie saw a lazy boy out on the street, uh-huh. paid the UPS guy 20 bucks to bring, bring it, it in. in. Turns out it was infested. It was lousy with bed bugs. Mm-hmm. So we had to shut the joint down for a little bit, sure. get the place bombed. But I found out Tootie resold it. On Facebook Marketplace, so we covered the the bombing right there. It's good to be hearing about this for the first time <laughs> after I sat on some cushions. <laughs> These have a real fucking Letterman vibe to them. I can't tell if you're fucking around or what. <laughs> and then she resold it on Facebook Marketplace. Now it's somewhere out in Long Island. Yeah. We just keep following the yeah. chair. We haven't been here in a while. It's fun to do this. My co-host mm-hmm. is coming at you sure. rudely right next to me. <laughs> yeah, no, not rudely. Jesus Christ! Every time Foley leans on the table, it's uh, like I'm on a yeah. boat. We got. I gotta put. I gotta, I gotta put. Steve your legs on this thing. Oh Christ. <laughs> I got the giggles in me today, I'm too. Like, <laughs> ever since Ribs, ever since Ribs walked in, I, I, I've been having the chuckles. <laughs> ribs went over the starboard side. Get her. <laughs> like Jack and I'm what's her sick. name? sick. <laughs> I'm like, is this my nicotine lozenge or is the table shaking so much from Foley's storytelling? Uh, get some fucking people dram- have, get some dram- <laughs> people from People have fun. pointed it out, too. <laughs> the big like, guy's laughing. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho, mm-hmm. I excuse me for breaking the fourth wall there, folks. My co-host is coming at you from right next to sure. me. Sure. <laughs> he is the CEO of Are You Garbage? Really, uh, he turned the podcast into a global conglomerate. Okay. <laughs> Kevin James Ryan, everybody. Still no cards have been shipped out. Stop fucking emailing me. Uh, guys, all the cards will go out this week. What's up? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. Those numbers are true to fucking roof, baby. Mm-mm-mm. Get involved. And then also, I mean, you know it. I know it. T-Bone knows it. Patreon.com slash are you garbage. Where it all happens. You can sign up. You get uh bonus episodes of AYG. You get episodes of Hard Feelings, which is me and Foley behind the curtains. Hard Shit. what? Hard feelings. Oh, Shit. we got them. Yeah. You want them. Yeah, you yeah, love yeah, it. Yeah, we yeah. know it. Ten dollar members, do it. It's the fucking hit of the year. I didn't Jesus know that was I Christ. thought that was gonna be a fucking This is the song. longest it's intro. It's like that a we've fucking done. used car commercial every time Foley talks. If you don't act now, <laughs> uh, uh Patreon.com and then when, uh with the top tier people we play Are You Garbage with you guys once a month. Sign up. It's a good time all right and of course a shout out to our producer extraordinaire the pride of the chicago comedy yeah. scene, t-bone mcmuffin mcmullen <laughs> toby mcmullen everybody ah uh, <laughs> there you go you're off oh <laughs> good yeah. yeah i got foley's broken cable that he destroyed <laughs> his big fucking sausage fingers god yeah damn him t-bone's out <laughs> oh, I'm t-bone's popping and crackling over there i am when we first started, we were using handheld before. Like, we didn't have any money for fucking $9 stands. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we were using handheld mics. Of and course. Foley's just so fucking high strung. Yeah. That he was going through a brand new cable every week. Chewing through it. No, <laughs> Chewing right through it. He ran out of the nicotine gun. <laughs> I'd look over. He'd have it wrapped around his hand like he's a fucking gladiator. I'm like, <laughs> he's yeah. fucking pounding the table. I, I had a whole thing about these nice DMs. I've been getting people asking if I have the flagrant flu, if I got the COVID. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, you you know, mm-hmm. but th- 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 I'm afraid to talk into this thing now. Yeah. yeah, you're good. Just don't touch it. You'll be fine. God, just put it in a goddamn Any bad jokes, over. blame it on the cable. Yeah. We love you, buddy. Hey, thanks, guys. Gang, this is a family episode, if you couldn't tell by now. Uh, we have a previous guest on, an old friend of ours. We got a little company in here. We started from fucking Jump Street. Yeah. Down in the village, we were just reminiscing about it. Mm-hmm. I think on your episode, we said you were classy. I think. No, she was trash. I'm pretty But then sure. you came in with the sleeve tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta, yeah. First of all, it's not totally a sleeve. It's not totally. 
it's you look infected. Like, you look like Sailor Jerry. It might when be you infected, walk in. yeah. which uh, which does it is a little trashy. Look at that old ma right there. Jesus. Look at that thing. It might as well be an anchor. <laughs> 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 it's broad's rough around the edges. <laughs> Damn, you got some fucking pipes on you, too, I though. Do. We'll God show damn. those Germans, won't we? Yeah! <laughs> 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 it's fucking Rosie the River. It yeah. is fucking, it's very red right now. I mean, my, uh, uh, my What'd you get that is, on the way in? I got it yesterday. <laughs> got that in the sheets. <laughs> I got this less than 12 hours ago. Jesus Christ. Damn. Also, I think, th- I think it's the perfect explanation uh-huh. of Rosebud mm-hmm. is to take off a nice cardigan sweater and then show her brand new sleeve tattoo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're sleeve. trash. This isn't a sleeve. I just have small arms. Okay? You have cannons. It's not a collared shirt. I can tell you that. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, this is what they call a panel. Ooh. A panel. I found that well, out. So what is it? It's a rat in a flower? What is it? Yeah, it's a rat in a flower <laughs> holding a flower. That's you again. You're a rat in a flower. That's right. <laughs> some that's guy right. That, some guy I that said dropped I, dime I on want something that's ago. pretty but tough. And there they were go. like, and they. she goes, well, what about a little mouse knitting? And I was like, I don't want knitting on there. I don't want anybody knitting on my arm. Sure. And she said, well, what if we just put a mouse in a flower? And I said, that, that works. Oh, but I did it... let her pick it. I didn't. So she... it's a mouse or a rat? It's a mouse. Yeah, it'd be cool if it was a rat. It would it? Eating pizza. Would it? That's disgusting. Yeah, that's not. You don't want to <laughs> fucking, fucking rat revolting. on That's fucking revolting. Is that your first tattoo? This is my, no, this is my first real one. You know what I mean? Well, the first one where I'm like, I feel it in my armpit. What are the other ones you have? Jailhouse? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You the have other like one, a heart or something. I have like, I have like a, a little feather here. I have the word pow. Behind my ear. That was my first one. P A L P P O W. Oh, pow. pow. Not prisoner of war. Just pow. Like pow. Got like pow. Like, yeah, boom. that was like that was just a mood I was in. I I was I didn't know what I I've never picked a tattoo before I walked in to get it, including this. That's one. the way to go, I think. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> Q I roll. Listen, I think that's uh that is the way to go because I feel like people get these tattoos, they're all meaningful, and then they want to fucking describe to you what it means, and it's like I don't need a I fucking story. I kind of like that too. But that's yeah. like getting the ha- getting the haircut off the haircut wall. Yeah, like give me the eight, God, give, give me, me the that. number eighteen. Yeah, give me whatever. the eighteen. Yeah, that's so. What's wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> and then. Are these little one? Is that pen? On you? Are, yeah, no, these are actually that's uh, real tattoo. This is a real tattoo, but it was just somebody came you have to like a four party. Of them. Somebody came to a party with a tattoo gun, and I just let them practice on me. So I probably have hepatitis. This um, kid screwballs. Jesus yeah. Christ! <laughs> this girl's boncos. Yeah. Dang! This is our incredibly special guest that we have with, here with today. We didn't even introduce her. That's oh, yeah. a, that, that's the kind of fire we're getting off to here. <laughs> Back at fucking tooties. But let's talk real quick. She is the co-host with her main squeeze, Andy Haynes of Find Your Beach, the amazing podcast. And she's going to be recording her debut album in Zany's Nashville, March 14th. Ladies and gentlemen, our old pal. Yeah. From the Beltway to Broadway to Hollywood, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Rose Bud Baker. Yeah. Ribs Baker. Thanks Happy for to be here. coming in. Man, really, that was, seriously, that whole intro was Does working. this look infected to you? How the fuck would I? Everything looks infected. Yeah, to me. that's true. You I mean, look this infected. Just, this, <laughs> this looks like your neck. I have a thing that's like a pimple. It's oh. not a pimple. I, I can't get at it. It's yeah. crazy. Well, we assumed you couldn't get at it. <laughs> it, it just looks. It just looks. Can't even get at your finger now. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, for some reason, I can't reach around my own body. Yeah. Well, who's got? Ah! <laughs> oh, out. He bones out of condition. <laughs> Fuck it. What'd you say, bad cable Kenny? Huh? What do you got to say? <laughs> <laughs> Tebow's on you the gave bench. him that mic on purpose. That's fucked <laughs> no, yeah. up. We took we took we had to yeah we, we took mic cables because we had to re- operate remote last week through mm-hmm. the bed bugs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, keep the storyline going. I um, hope that's not fucking real. I no, really can't no, tell. No, 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 no. Okay, nice we're in a cl- we're in a high rise building yeah, right now. We're on the now. we're in the basement, but still. Yeah, we got a trash can. We got wet wipes. We got the whole smear here. Yeah, you know how trash cans and wet wipes <laughs> make you classy. <laughs> hey, that was about twenty two bucks. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be coming out of the, the the tally at the end of the month. Yeah, it will. Yeah. So will the seat cushions. $18 I spent Amazon. He doesn't like them. Nobody likes Ro- them. Rosebud didn't like them. T-Bone didn't like them. I really don't know how you're comfortable sitting on them. I don't because they were too small for my butt. <laughs> It's the small and her butt could fit inside your the, butt. It feels sm- like you're just. <laughs> <laughs> my butt I'm would listening. be as big as this cushion is sure. under yours. Yeah. It's not that. It's just the f- it's these old hardwood. Uh, uh, chairs? Chairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. chairs. <laughs> I'm on heart medication. Uh, <laughs> the the old hard chairs, they hurt my butt after doing two episodes. Oh, yeah. Okay. So well, I like the cushioning. That's good. I mean, yeah. it's good to get your needs met. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate There's a lot of four. Yeah, he's a big guy. You know, we got we to gotta work around it a little mm-hmm. bit. I'm a big guy. 
a big guy with a big heart, and we're here on a big podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Those I fucking <laughs> screwballs this week. <laughs> Thank you for coming in. <laughs> it's also uh, for this is the first time we've seen each other in like probably maybe the longest ever since. No, I mean we've had been a week. Two, no, more than that. I think two right? weeks. Two weeks maybe. Um, so we get a little we get a little squirrely too. It's fun. like two little schoolgirls when we get together. Yeah, when I see them a couple times a week. I hate them. Yeah, but then I don't see them, and I'm like, ah, oh, this guy's. Great. I miss my brother. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but that being said, it's a family episode. Let's get into some of the fucking Patreon yes, questions, sir. baby. So when you sign up for Patreon, we will answer your garbage question. Mm-hmm. It's just the best way to do it. Mm-hmm. Um, right before this, we were talking, these two dirt balls had to pop their fucking <laughs> nicotine lozenges and nic- Nicorette gum. That's what I'm dealing with. Meanwhile, I'm outside. I'm still smoking the last man. I can't believe what happened. You, I can't believe what you told me actually happened. What that the, I the nicotine gum? Yes, I've overdosed on nicotine multiple gum times. several times, multiple times. That's one of the trashiest now, things I've ever heard in my life. I've done it with and my, I'm wearing basketball. Shorts I did it right with now. my husband together as one. We we both did it at the same time. Does he smoke or did he? We both were vaping. It was like how I fell in love. We both like you know we screwed for the first time, rolled over, and both took a hit off our jewels, and I was like, uh, we are soulmates. Really, baby. I can't see him vaping. Oh, yeah. Andy Haynes, very funny comedian. Yeah, we're both recovering drug addicts, so, you know. Oh, he is? Yeah. Yeah, that's like that's like the fucking addict starter kit. Yeah. Coffee and cigs. You get oh, a yeah. jewel, a coffee, um, a tattoo, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> and a church basement, and yeah. <laughs> you got yourself the, a- the addict starter pack right there. <laughs> there you go. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, yeah, that being said, this is a, this is a perfect lead-in. Uh, this is from Andrew, uh, or Andre, I don't know. You know, your name's kind of fucked up. Have you ever smoked a... S- it's A-N-D-R-E-J. That's on... Exactly. Andre. Did he misspell his own name, I don't or know. are we just racist? Andra- Andra- Andrej? 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 Whatever. You, Whatever. you got a screwball first name. Hey, either, either way, we love you, buddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, have you ever smoked a cigarette while ordering at a drive-thru? Because that is a top 10 oh, dirtbag. man. Room. Yeah. Right that's, their a, face? that's a real dirtbag. Absolutely. Bag. Really? Yeah. Oh, Rosebud, you're a fucking animal. Smoking <laughs> a butt? <laughs> Seriously. And you got the cigarette in the hand going out the window to get the, to get the burgers? Yeah. To hand them the cash? Yeah. So the cigarette's going in they the go, window? They go, do you want some sauce? I'm like, I'm not even going to taste it. <laughs> <laughs> All my taste buds are scorched. <laughs> I'm yes. just doing this for the rebates. I've definitely here. done that. Yeah. Oh man, for sure. For sure. That's garbage. I don't. Is it? I don't think I. I don't think I have. I've always tried to be very considerate with my smoking. Even now, I started back up like a fucking asshole. Um, I go like away from like my apartment build. Like I try to go. I'll encounter the least amount of people. You're right. good with that. I'll say that. I'm I'll be like, I'll go stand. Kind of in the street between these two cars. Yeah, and, and, yeah. And, you but know. you, I've seen you smoke, and it always has this very lonely vibe to it. It's Me? Ha- yeah, I'm yeah. always like, I'm it's doing guy. wonders for your social life, yeah. buddy. <laughs> you do smoke like Kenny Rogers. <laughs> yeah, like I get that. after he, them quick. He too. looks like, like he's <laughs> like on a bounty mission every time he fucking lights one up. <laughs> Got to close the case. <laughs> Yeah. This guy's haunted by memories. <laughs> yes, yes. 100%. I just got a thousand mile stare just fucking yeah. going. I'm going to go outside and relive the past for 10 minutes. Right. It's tough, man. It's As I started smoking again, I like I like really fucking hate it. Now, I'm, I'm to the point now where I'm like three drags and then I flick it. And I'm like, what uh, am I even the worst. doing? Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah for sure. That's how it. That's but that's the that's the cycle of smoking. That's the whole thing. I know. That's half the experience of enjoying a cigarette is wondering why you're here. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. You I'm know? also like, but this, there are some that are fucking. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, the one man. after like I, you I, gotta mean, earn I know it. you're recovering, but one after the first one after like two or three drinks is the best fucking oh burn you you can get hands down. Absolutely. Two drinks and you step outside on like an autumn night. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. The, you can hear it crackling. Yeah. You're, <laughs> you're like, and it burns. You get it. You get that burning sensation <sighs> mm-hmm. in your throat, and you're like, this is why I came here. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we play for, baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love it. That's trash. My my mom has definitely done that before. Yeah. Your mom your mom smokes in the sense that like your mom like she, it's like cartoon like she is the definition of like an 80s smoker. You think? You know, yeah, just like hey Henry, she's mm-hmm. like tiny little you know, the opposite yeah. of him. Yeah. I remember and being just, You mean my future. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's I remember, rosebud in 20 years. Yeah. I remember being in our Jeep. We had like a wooden the old wooden panel Jeep and it was mm-hmm. like the 80s. No seatbelts. Mm-hmm. And if it was, it was a little button one. I right. remember it was like 30 degrees outside or like 30 below. It was cold. Yeah. Right? And the windows rolled up, the fucking heat on, and just. 
Yeah. Crushing them. Just sitting in the I back. I miss that. I miss those days when cars wouldn't tell you to save your own life, you know? Oh, when, yeah. Uh, they wouldn't be back or whatever. Shit. Fucking obnoxious. I mean, how do you know I'm not suicidal? Doesn't shut up. <laughs> I'm rolling you know? the dice over here. Right. Every anyway. once in a while, if you're just zipping around the neighborhood, it's nice to have the seatbelt off. Yeah. Feel naughty. Yeah, I'm not mm-hmm. a big... I'm kidding. You kids keep your seatbelt on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't use drugs. <laughs> are you... Are, yeah, his uh, opinions are no way connected to uh, Are You Garbage Incorporated. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, this one's from... This will be more... Uh, this is out of my realm a little bit because it's... Uh, has anyone in your family ever pierced their infant child's ears? Or how old were you when you got yours? I definitely have cousins that have pierced their infant child's ears. Oh, yeah. I've seen it at the mall. It mm-hmm. does not look fun for anybody involved. The kid mm-hmm. freaks out. Yeah, the kid screams right yeah. away. I've seen videos of, of kids. I don't know why I've watched videos <laughs> like this, but I've seen videos of kids the dark web. getting their ears pierced, and, they're, and they just seem like really chill about it. Really? Yeah. It's pretty cute as, when you see it. When you see it, and they're just like, what? Wow, something hurt for a second, and they don't really, like, you know, you as long cogn- as you're, like, yeah. laughing at a kid. They oh, just, really? Yeah, but I don't, I mean, I've never. I don't know. Shout out to Nishamani Mall. I've seen fucking babies just screaming in the I middle. Sc- in I screamed my first. My, yeah, or yeah. just, like, at the piercing pagoda or whatever. Just right. fucking, yeah, it's a scene. Yeah. My first couple of haircuts, I screamed. I can't imagine getting my ears pierced. Really? Uh, you were that kid? Freaked you're sitting out. there in the fucking fire truck or whatever? <laughs> oh, I, dude, I bugged out. <laughs> I don't know what this fucking bozo's going to do. <laughs> this guy's got scissors and a mustache. I'm not fucking, <laughs> not fucking trust this guy. <laughs> He's coming at you with scissors. <laughs> nah, I didn't like it sense. at all. Yeah. I didn't care how many lollipops. I fucking fucked that shit. Mm-hmm. I couldn't imagine getting my ears pierced. I would have lost it. Because they had this like wooden thing because you couldn't fit in the seat. Oh, they put you on the booster. Yeah, they, they put you on the out booster. That booster seat. Right. I forgot that, about like, that. And, and they borrowed it from the TGI Fridays. Yeah, next yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Silk sheet that goes around you. Uh, no good. I fucking freaked out. Have you ever pierced any of your own? Yeah. Hol- yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Like I ears? tried. Uh, I've tried piercing my belly button. I've what? tried. Yeah. I did get my belly button pierced eventually, but it was for one day and it was because I was in a fight with a, a an ex. Do you realize how crazy that is? Yeah. <laughs> Your belly button. Yeah, I do realize how crazy that what is. What are you, Bear Grylls? What <laughs> the fuck is <laughs> Were you inside of an elk at the time? I was literally, it, it, this guy hated belly button piercing. We got in a fight. I was like, I know exactly so go to what the I'm mall. Do. Why would you do yeah, it yourself? Go bang his brother. No, no, no. Something. These are two separate occasions. So the one time that I successfully pierced it was professionally. I think you told us this on your I episode, think I did. Yeah. yeah. I think I did. I was, as it's I was, trashier the second time around, I feel. <laughs> got a belly, got a I belly never button piercing to piss a guy off. Yeah. Never Man. mentioned that I pierced my own, though. I tried piercing my own for a while. So I sat there with ice on my belly button for. I uh, probably seventh, eighth grade, just, that just was, trying that to was numb myself and out. And a pin, trying to, trying trying to jam to do it through. That, yeah. And what were you going to do? Just leave the pin in there? Yeah, no, you get a, a safety pin and you leave it in for like a week to or let it three weeks. establish. Yeah, and then, uh, you know. Then you can put whatever in. Three weeks later, you got tetanus and a nice, <laughs> and a nice piercing. <laughs> yeah, your umbilical cord grows back. <laughs> yeah. You can reuse, <laughs> reuse the safety I, pin. I though. never could like do that. I couldn't, uh, I don't have the. The. I the just, guts, the, yeah. I I was I've told the story. I think Mm-mm. on this, where to I, even attempt it means you have you had the guts. Y- well, wow, then you're cra- you're all, you're crazy enough to yeah. really like feel it go in and uh. then keep going. I think I've told on this. I did my my buddy's eyebrow Ugh. in seventh or eighth grade, and yeah. I got in, but then I couldn't get through. The second layer. You weren't fucking man enough. And I was like, enough. I'm out. You're like, I'm like no way. <laughs> I thought I was man enough. I'm like, I'll do it. Fucking get it. And then I'm, oh. <laughs> I start, felt the tissue. I'm like, nope. You start vomiting. Yeah, no matter how sharp you think it is, man, when you can't get through that other layer of skin, <laughs> that's when you start. I know that from picking out splinters. You're yeah. like, Aah. That's how you know every doctor's a fucking psycho. Oh, psycho. They got it. There is something wrong with them. If you yeah. can cut someone open, yeah. yeah, you're fucking bonkos. I remember mm-hmm. I had a couple of uh, cysts taken out. And uh, I got it done. A couple. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like they left some. Why is it so gross when you say a couple? Because <laughs> yeah. it it's was ca- it was so cavalier about so it. So much nastier. Yeah. They were actually called. I like- got a little bit of shit in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was like anal beads, but just cysts, yeah, yeah, yeah. basically. <laughs> Oh, man, you're gross. Anyway, the surgeon was so proud of his stitches that he, like, brought me out into the hallway to show hey, the Hey, Tommy, other- get a load of this. <laughs> you know, I sewed this fat fuck up. You're not going to believe it. Huh? I took a couple of assists out of this fat pasted. <laughs> like a goddamn pot roast. Look at this kid. I gave, Jimmy, him, a pops- I, I gave him a popsicle. I didn't even need to get put down for it. 
<laughs> he was like a baby getting his ears pierced. He was like so <laughs> proud. <laughs> oh, God. That was nice, by the way. Oh, you brought that back. That is yeah. a good feeling, though, sometimes jamming something like that in. Feels good. Could you stab someone, you think? No. No. I feel like you could in like a. I feel like you lose it even if it's for like a minute, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. You don't. You stay pretty fucking. I feel you could be like, well, things got out of hand. I'm sorry. I have, you know what I, I mean? have blacked out with rage before. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's something that's happened to me. So maybe if I was in that state, then yeah, po- possibly. Uh, I don't, yeah, I don't think you could. Nah, You'd be I like, what do you want on the other side of the room? I'll get you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting off this couch. <laughs> Just a comb. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think I could. I don't think I could stab or shoot anybody. Yeah. Or beat anybody up for that matter. Shooting anybody? No. Shooting anybody for some reason that seems like you have to think about it. Like there's a because there's a button you have to press. Like stabbing somebody, it's almost like that's just an extension of your arm. You forget the knife's there. Why would you have a knife on you, though? This sounds like plausible deniability, <laughs> if you know. ask me. <laughs> she comes from a good family. I she's, really... she's laying an alibi quick. She's setting up a gone girl right I, now. I, for real... Somebody get Haynes on the phone and I warn got, the guy. I gotta start. I don't, even, I don't even remember going to the podcast. <laughs> We're all dead. This never gets released. Yeah, what do you got cooking? We yeah, you got something up. I've already set up the timing of this. I'm like, I got a tattoo 12 hours ago. Yeah, too she many has. She's already, I, she's uh, already set the parameters. We're we taking the fall for something. I'm Look fucked. over. She's got the door locked. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. Jesus. <clears throat> Gang, real quick, want to talk to you about the good time we're having over there on the old stereo oh, app. Yeah. Every Thursday night at 9 o'clock, Uncle Hank and Kippy are answering your questions. Yeah, guys, it's like a little bit of an after party live stream. You can uh, use our link to sign up for the app. It's www.stereo.com slash Kevin Ryan or slash H Foley. We get to wet our beaks a little bit. Oh, yeah. You sign up. You can ask your questions live. We'll answer them live on the air. We get a couple hundred people in there every week. It's a good time. See you there. Gang, all bullshit aside. Oh, yeah. Sheath underwear is the shit, baby. Is the best underwear that you're might not be wearing. Yeah. And I, if you're not, get on it. right now, baby. Of course Ooh. you do. So do I. I'm not an asshole. <laughs> I'm wearing my sheaths. Love the sheaths, baby. It's fantastic. If you're not familiar with sheath underwear, get familiar with it now. There's two. The big thing about it, it separates your dick and your balls. They got a pouch for your balls, a little pouch for your little pee-pee. You can put your pee-pee and balls in the same pouch, separate pouch, no pouch, doesn't matter. The big thing about it, I didn't know I needed my balls off of my leg. That is a game changer. I've been walking around like an asshole for 34 fucking years with my balls stuck to my legs. And that's really just where it started. If you notice now, you go to the website, they got hats, they got t-shirts, they got, it all. They got everything. They got stuff for the ladies out there, so get Fantastic. some for your ladies. Use promo code GARBAGE, go to sheathunderwear.com, promo code GARBAGE. You save 20%, and these guys are huge supporters of comedy podcasts. They're yes, fans they of are. the show. They like they support all comedy podcasts. They're, they're advertising everywhere. Get involved with them. Go to sheathunderwear.com, promo code GARBAGE. Save on your next order. Now back to the show. Oh, my God. Um, this one is just tr- – I can't – this is from Brandon, and you should. we should kick you out of the Patreon. Putting ketchup <laughs> on tacos. What? That's, yeah. If you put ketchup on tacos, you're trash. I'm That's sorry. That's the question? You put ketchup on tacos? No. No, that's that's Brandon's question. You sound like you're just setting an alibi now. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so you're telling me his question <laughs> yeah. was not him, not me, but his question was ketchup on Brandon, they're not going for it. The jig's up. <laughs> you get on the phone like Brandon's a different person. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. This was from H. Schmoley? <laughs> Hang on a second. You've done it? I th- I th- <laughs> okay, he's done it. Supposed to be friends here. Fucking accusations start flying around. I ain't seen you in two weeks. Start You've done it. Grilling me? Have you? Let me explain myself. There's, uh, th- th- there's little with food that he hasn't done. I've put, I put ketchup on things that maybe shouldn't get ketchup, but I don't see. <laughs> listen, if it's ground beef, it can take ketchup. My God, that's you are, it. You are a pregnant woman in her third <laughs> trimester. Why not? I'm, I'm, listen, I'm not saying that I would order it, but I'm because saying- it's different countries, man. It's different cuisines here. Well, what is ketchup? ketchup? What is not ketchup? for tacos? That's Ket- what it's for. Ketchup is really just salsa. You ever go to a Mexican? You know what it is? It's an Mex- Italian condiment. Yes. Well, it's actually uh, it's an American. It's an condiment. American, but with Italian roots. Right. <laughs> it's grandfather came over. Right. And <laughs> Rachel Ray over here gotta- trying to drop knowledge. <laughs> Man, you turn tail on that quick. It's an Italian condom. The way she said right. it, I signed right up. I'm like, it is. Well, maybe. I'm uh, great at bullshitting <laughs> something I don't sound know. Sound like Bobby Flay. Yeah. 
You and I have that in common. What? You and I can bullshit some shit that we don't know and make it sound like we know what we're talking about oh, yeah. for like a second. He doesn't know anything that's going on with anything. So No, but I've heard Foley right bullshit. Now. I've heard Foley bullshit where I've j- I've seen people around him nodding like he's right and just been like, yeah, absolutely yeah, yeah. not. He has no idea what he's doing most yeah. of the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's also funny. Quiet, you. Because we, we all started working together and then as Toby learned more about Foley, he's yeah. just been like, at one point, I look over and he was pulling his head. It was a cartoon. <laughs> Foley's like, "So, what do you mean the camera?" He's like, "What do you? How do you? What kind of questions are you asking?" <laughs> He's like, "How have you made it that far?" And you're asking that question now. It's crazy. Ah, that's great. What's the problem with it? I could see it's trash. That's trash. Okay. There's a sauce for it already. They have relax, multiple sauces: relax. the green sauce, the red sauce, salsa. Hold yeah. on. You have the seasoned meat. Okay. Then you have a uh, taco shell. You put some cheddar cheese, some lettuce, tomato, all things that would that could have ketchup on it. Why do you need ketchup? On yeah, that? what do you, that's that? Yeah, the fact what, that it's what? like to blend you're in trying with to, the sour cream. Uh, Ugh. No, you that's want bad. Thousand Island dressing uh, on your fucking taco? Why, why wouldn't I? Cold. Yeah, that's disgusting. But that's not Thousand Island dressing, technically. It you is, are a thousand though. pound man. <laughs> 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 I was trying to say it when she said Thousand Island dressing, and then it came back around after you. Timing, like, timing's, timing's key to these things, folks. Mims tried to keep it in the air for a minute, but then she walked away from it. <laughs> Everybody's got the guns pointed at each other. Nobody wants to give anybody anything. <laughs> you just gave him a polite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's when you're laughing, but you know you don't mean it, and so you immediately try to put a sure. lid on it. Um, T- I don't think T-Bone that's just, that bad. T-Bone just said ketchup is British. So you're going British and Mexican. They don't mix. They, that don't true. mix. No. In 2020, they do, my friend. <laughs> no. I love you, Kev. God. Love all people. Uh, H-fold. Man. I'm all for globalism, but not, you know, that's not just... putting ketchup? <laughs> I'm all for globalism. <laughs> but I put my foot down. <laughs> that's... I like different things on, on, on... I like... Weird things on different things. No, you like things. whatever's in the fridge yeah, on your taco. Yeah. That's you want to really... have as much as possible on your thing. You're very, that's, it's gluttonous. That's what it is. Sure. Yeah. yeah. It's a sad meal. Yeah. Uh, you shouldn't. That's, is it? That's, yeah, it is. That's worse than having it out at Thanksgiving. Yeah. I mean, tacos can go, there's, it's a thin line with tacos, you know? Like, tacos are the only food that can go from happy to sad, depending on the situation you're eating them in. Ooh, that's pretty good. You know? Yeah. Wow. And where you got them. Dude. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that hit, that hit home with me. Because when I was a kid, our tacos were sad as fuck. They were fucking garbage tacos. You can be eating tacos with a bunch of friends in a restaurant. You know, you're having margaritas. You're enjoying Radishes, it. Radishes, a little bit of cilantro, the days of lime, college, fresh made tortillas. You know, and then if you're alone in your car... It's just yeah, if you're a parked in a Taco Bell parking lot, there's a different it's vibe. It's a whole to different it. meal. It's not a fiesta. I'll you tell add you, that you add ketchup to that situation, it's uh, bad. Yeah. Especially uh, because you had to bring your own because Taco Bell didn't give it to you. Yeah. <laughs> I remember one time when I worked in an office, this guy brought tacos in for lunch that he had made. Not like Taco Bell. He brought tacos that he had nobody talked to him after. <laughs> <laughs> fuck out of here. You bring in yesterday's Ortegas. With your soft <laughs> corn tacos. Yeah, yeah hit the fucking hike. bricks. Yeah. Trash. I remember it's bothered me forever. I saw a guy with with a pound of cheese, a pound of turkey, and a pound of ham making fucking sandwiches on the beach. Oh. And I was just like, this is the most insane thing I've ever seen in my and life. And I apologize. <laughs> Good God. He'd oh. been there for three days. Mm. All right. Sandwiches on the beach can get a little dicey. That mayo, after when that sun's on it for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yikes. Yeah. Yeah. A little tang in there. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we did this one. This was from another time. Do you feed the seagulls when you go to the beach? <laughs> Fuck, yeah, I have. Really? I have, yeah. Not recently, but yes, I've done that. Maybe Man, that's one- unforgivable. <laughs> Maybe one- I'd call the police on you. If you were, if you were by my crew, you'd be fucking... Uh, I think I, I think I think she's got drugs or something. That's on fair. You, That's did, fair. Did you grow up going to the beach though? Did you guys was it? Did you guys summer? We were more of a camping family. You're a camping family. Yeah, okay. my See, dad that- loved to camp. That's the thing. As a little kid, you know, going to the Jersey Shore your whole life. You- you have that for a second where you're like, oh, I like the seagulls. Then they fucking instantly become your enemy. Right. Real fucking quick. And even today, yeah. they're worse than ever. Yeah. Oh, the seagulls have gotten way worse now. It's the music and the sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they're terrible. That's so funny. It's so tragic. My mom has a theory because we go down the shore every I feel like they've gotten bigger summer. too. She's like, mm-hmm. they like orange things. So like if anybody has Doritos <laughs> or something, like, put the Cheetos down. The birds like it. 
The birds like it more. Oh, They're drawn God. to the color yeah, orange. Yeah. I'm like, Mom, yeah, okay. That's absolutely She's like QAnon yelling. level insane. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She's yelling at other groups. It's the, the, the Gatorade cap. <laughs> it's the Gatorade cap. That's cap. like when my dog would fucking freak out at somebody. I'd be like, I think it's the color blue. Yeah. Uh, my dog freaks out all the time. My mom makes up different things for it every single time. Yeah. It's to this, it's to that, it's yeah. to this, it's to that. At this, you're just an abused wife at a certain point. Yeah. You're like trying to come up with situations. I, it's just your clothes. <laughs> it's just your personality. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. But fuck seagulls. Yeah. yeah. Fuck them. Yeah, Seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I, dude, I love all Horrible animals. birds. They're worse than pigeons. Yeah. I actually, yeah. They are. I pigeons don't, don't really bother Well, they're you. really the pigeons. They're dirty, but they don't bother you. I like a pigeon. Ah, I've had pigeons fly dangerously close to my fucking face in New York. Yeah. I had a pigeon shit on my nose once. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People say that's good luck. I'm like, mm. <laughs> not if it's on your nose. Yeah, save it. I was going to JFL and I was on the phone trying to change my phone plan with the with the operator lady. Mm-hmm. I go ah, and she goes what? I was like, I need you to stay on the phone with me for a second. A, a bird just shit on my face. <laughs> Well, ah. good, news, good news. It's your lucky day. We can upgrade you for only nine ninety nine a month. <laughs> I go, is that good luck? She goes, not if it's on your face. Uh, anyway, and you're next question. By. Um, this is from Ivan. Growing up, did you ever spit on one of your siblings during a fight? Because I've been spit on a bunch. My brother was ruthless at times. That's a good question. I probably, but not. You know, it wasn't like a. It was like. You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? I wasn't like gathering up um, mucus Mucus, or anything. Yeah. But we. It was all. It was all girls in my family. So spitting wasn't. Yeah, but I feel like you're all kind of spunky a bit. I feel like you're all a little bananas. Yeah, we yeah. are. Absolutely. At least the ones I've met. more is, is more of a girl's thing in fights. When I pay him for it, it is. Come on. <laughs> I <know>. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think it was more of like a kicking, lying on your back and kicking. Air pull. Oh, in the that air. was big. Yeah. What, if you were lying on your back and kicking. <laughs> dude, I know. If, if yeah. you were pinned that's up like on fucking, your shoulders. That's, like that's suburban last... girl jujitsu or <laughs> yeah, something like that. That's was... the last act of a desperate man right yeah, there. Yeah, that was a lot no, of my I, siblings. I've been there. You're remember... <laughs> kicking up. <laughs> <laughs> I remember looking at a lot of my sisters on their backs kicking. Yeah. Like a fucking pig that couldn't turn over. And it was <laughs> <laughs> trying to catch your breath. Yeah. <laughs> My brother held me down one time. Uh, he would do like the knees on the shoulders, mm-hmm. right? Which is like an unforgivable move. Looking <laughs> at it's like I, I, I would never have the being on the opposite end of that so much. I could never do it to somebody because it's so frustrating and so demeaning. Yeah. And he held my head down and spit in my ear, dude. And I. <laughs> I still feel it. Like, I still feel it in my ear. And it still gets me mad. Wow. Because That's we would wet awesome. Willie. I think I wet Willie him, and he was like, oh, yeah. And just fucking pulled my ear. He just pisses on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Paid him for that, too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, needed You're a couple like, no, of No, I can't come without it. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, this is from Ryan Hodges. Have you, did your family used to reuse birthday candles? Wash them off and then reuse them? Oh, no. yeah. No. No. Never did really? that. Really? Yeah. Really? No. Why never do you say that. it so sternly? They're a nickel just for like a hundred of them. Never you did You know it. for a fact your mom never did that. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. I you, know. Because yeah. my mom, she she was constantly throwing shit away. My mom's big thing was like walking through the house. If she couldn't identify an object or who it belonged to, it'd go in the move. trash. Yeah. I love that mentality. Mm-hmm. Get it the fuck out. You can buy a new one. Yeah. Throw it, throw it out. You sure it was related to candles, though? I'm positive, buddy. <laughs> pretty classy yeah that's, <laughs> that's the difference between you two you're a reusable candle family. i'm surprised well, she didn't dude, we you open up your junk drawer there's like a four a nine oh, a zero yeah. we'll all yeah. half all half <laughs> melted and we'll, we'll reuse you're the like numbers. 49 only a couple more years <laughs> you're calling up you're calling up your aunt hey trish can you bring over a six <laughs> it's it's tommy's 16th birthday i got the one we just need the six you got a six you're getting two birthdays out of it six <laughs> and nine you're Flip making you're making your Put cakes vintage to yeah. try to match the candles there's a blue one, a, you know, the seven yellow. Yeah, totally. There mm-hmm. was a, there was a Ziploc bag that had that oh. had all the candles in there, burnt ones. That's poor person mentality. Well, you yeah. know what? Else? You know what's even more trashier? We had the candle holder. Remember the little flower? Yeah. They would. Those things were real shitty. Yeah. We had that too. I remember those. Did uh? Were you guys ever big on like the re? What are the the ones that wouldn't go out? 
the like reclaimable oh, ones. Man. That yeah. was like they someone did that once at a birthday party for a cousin, and everybody was like, "You, we don't do that." You know what I mean? <laughs> well, it's disgusting. I mean, you're just yeah, spitting just, on the cake. Mm -hmm. That's just, the gender reveal party of the <laughs> '80s. Yeah. It really is the trick candles. It really is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Man, nah, we don't do that over here. We don't do the trick candles. You know what that made me think of? I don't know why the candle holders. Did you guys have the little the corn? Things that went into the ears of corn. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Someone Those asked. Were fun. Someone. I don't. Again, I don't know who it was. Someone asked. Is that garbage? I think that's. What's the class? What's the trashiest way to eat corn on the cob? That's the. That was somebody's question. I don't know who. I it know is. the I classiest. Here's the thing. Way. I think when those came out, it was the classy way to right? do it, and it then was. they went from classy to trashy in like a year. Yeah, yeah because they were like really they were like. Cheap corn, and they were, yeah, yeah. They were little, little corn pieces of corn. Yeah, and you just look more like a rat eating it. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know, yeah. and they didn't work that great. They didn't work that. They really great. didn't. What's the classiest way to eat it then? The clip. It's a great question. The, Kevin, you slice you. it off. Yeah, no, yeah. no. Mm -hmm. My stepmom used to do that. Uh, nope. My dad no. did that for us nope. when we were kids. Nope. I used to fucking love it. I think the classy way to eat corn is with your hands. I what think do you that's got to be like, the classiest like way to do it. Just hold it. Yeah. Like that. Well, yeah. Sure. It's almost like well, what? Because you know, now in this form, anybody eating anybody eating corn with their hands has not, you know, their hands are nothing to be afraid of. Mm -hmm. Like anybody that's afraid to touch mm. their own food is probably trash. That's pretty genius. That's mm. how you tell the, the people are clean. Mm -hmm. He eats corn on the cob with his yeah. hands. That guy, mm -hmm. he washes his fucking hands. I don't know. Or he's a total I don't. Slob. I think it's just a trash food altogether. Ah, you're okay. What the fuck? I'm not saying it's not, you're not good. Wrong. If you're at a barbecue or whatever, you grab a piece. Yeah, of, of course. I don't have anything in my it's pocket absolutely now. Absolutely trash food. I mean, when you talk trash about food, when you talk no, about corn, corn fed. On the cob? You talk about corn fed people. You're talking about trash. That's Americana summertime, Fourth of July. I'm, trash. I'm, trash. <laughs> All trash. She just fucking called you out like an elf. <laughs> but my sparklies. <laughs> my sparklies. Trash. Yeah. yeah. Fourth of July is when we break out the trashiest dessert of all time. Some know it, some don't. Yeah. The Friendly's Watermelon Roll. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. See, I don't even know what that is. Ooh, yeah. What they do It looks is, like a fake. Well, they make a cake look like a watermelon. They make an ice cream cake look like a watermelon. On the outside, oh, it's I know lemon sherbet. That's the only time he eats fruit. Watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> Toby, hit my close up. <laughs> it's watermelon ice cream in the center. It's unbelievable and chocolate chips. Mm -hmm. Fucking a Foley family favorite. Yeah, um, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> they have it at Thanksgiving. <laughs> the worst was to get in the job to clean the corn as a kid. Oh. They, would, they would hang you like five brown bags of corn and be. I would always be, half ass it. Dude, it'd be 120 out. degrees You're in August. You're sitting out there I'm with your sitting, siblings yeah. like Shawshank Redemption. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and for that day, we were like free men. <laughs> Could have been one You're of like, can cops. you play some opera for me, mom? Yeah. And just like, I remember they'd be like, who did this one? And I like half assed yeah. it. You know yeah. what I mean? You. Getting called out on my shit work. <laughs> Go to the ah. store, get some niblets. Let's come on, keep it moving. <laughs> Were well, you guys a cream corn family? Did you ever do that? No. no. Yeah, actually, yes. Yeah. yeah. Loved no it. way. Mm -hmm. Cream corn. No. Was that was one of those things. Like we talked. My mom. We we did on the Patreon. We called our parents for the first episode of the Patreon, and yeah. we played with our our parents. And my mom's like, I she wouldn't feed us anything that she didn't like. So like I didn't have and she didn't like beans, so I didn't have beans until I was like thirty one years old. Oh shit! I was just like, yeah, we don't do it now. I, I fucking love them. Yeah. But cream corn was one of those things. It was just like it was never even existed in my house. Loved it. Yeah, just I liked it too. It I loved cream corn and the uh, and uh, the potatoes with the put you put them in cheese like uh, a casserole or whatever. Yes. Oh, Ooh, those come are on! Great, fantastic. Yeah. The best, the the classiest potato is the twice baked potato. Do you know that? Yeah. It's yeah, what, yeah. Do those you, are great. Yeah, oh, yeah do yeah, I? Yeah, yeah. Does your family make them? We make them once a year, I think, on Thanksgiving. Maybe, we used to do Christmas. The, we used to do the frozen ones in the eighties. Oh, and 90s. yeah. <laughs> was were... a little bit of Old Bay on top, <laughs> or whatever paprika <laughs> yeah. on top. Yeah, yeah, that's trash, dude. A little paprika will class up <laughs> just about anything. It's not it honestly <laughs> will. A little paprika, man. That's how trashy he is. He's, he's like, like he's the red, and he's he's like, if he's you can find a spice in a plastic <laughs> container. Let me tell you something. You're you. at the Four Seasons. All right, deviled eggs without paprika, with paprika, huh? Without paprika, you know you. Are deviled you eggs. Paprika? You're paprika. Yeah. Paprika. First of all, you're adding syllables. Yeah. Pap paprika. Pap Is there another A in there? It's paprika. Yeah. Isn't Ooh. it? Oh, she just fucking stuck that. Somebody landed. comes it's, for a little bit of money. <laughs> yeah. It's paprika. Right there, Speak shit. the Queen's English around here, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Mrs. <laughs> Pardon me. Oh my. 
my god, he's even doing the trashy English yeah. accent. He it's does fucking the Cockney. Cockney? Yeah. Fucking yeah, we'll be in rubble. Point. Body, trouble, <laughs> rubble. It wouldn't make sense if I did the high British accent, which I also can do. Hit it. Nah, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> but I love that you said deviled eggs without paprika is trash, and then add... Pa- deviled eggs, Clashes period, is trash. Are they? Rosebud. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know enough about... We never Deviled eggs is trash. Unless you're in fucking London. I, I think it's it? trash. Why London? I think they eat them for like tea or You whatever. don't know what the hell you're talking about. That and the ketchup. You're just mm. smoke screen. It. They definitely put deviled eggs like on a sandwich in London for high tea. Really? Yeah. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. I'm also saying this with confidence and yeah, hoping it's I, true. Yeah, I can, I, I can see. I, Fuck I, you! I see a little hole and I'm going, like, she doesn't believe this. You know what would be pretty going, good? Toby's going, nope, nope. You know what would be pretty good is a deviled egg on a BLT. Deviled eggs on BLTs. Mm. Are you garbage know. cookbook? It's coming. Mm-mm. It's brewing. I love it. That's Deviled eggs, great. London. Let's see. Uh, maybe it is. Old they favorites, Grams. I don't know. No, that's definitely an American garbage thing. That's well, they're garbage. Shit. You're just saying they're garbage. No, yeah. great though. I don't know. Love I don't it, fuck Debbie. with them. Crazy. Those in hard boiled, I don't mm-hmm. fuck with. Unless it's really? in ramen, then we'll talk. That's typically soft boiled. Yes, but it is. Whatever. Look at yeah. you extending your palate past the chicken finger. My lady likes more you more than Applebee's. You know what I mean? I gotta. I'm googling a lot of stuff at these restaurants we go to. By the way, <laughs> what the hell is a soft boiled egg? Well, it's funny because she does. There's some things that she doesn't know language, like just language wise, and yeah. she go like, "What is?" A deviled egg, and I'm such a fucking terror. I'm like, I don't. So then I gotta Google it, right? And I, they know I don't belong at these places she likes to go to. Yeah, but it is what it is. <laughs> um, I can see why you guys got married. She can't <laughs> totally speak English. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. She doesn't yeah. know we're married technically. <laughs> oh, okay, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she just say, uh, yeah. That she thinks we're out. roommates. That checks out. The are just friends. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. German accent. Any good? Oh, oh. It's all right. Wasn't bad. Fair enough. Um. All right. This is kind of a two-parter from two different people. This is how trashy Ooh, our, our listeners are. Great um, minds think alike. This is from Eric Babe. Real last name. Sorry, I'm ugly. All right. That's his Patreon name. Good luck. Nice. Mm-hmm. Uh. When all the plates are dirty, have you ever eaten a meal off something that wasn't a plate? Yeah. Like what? Is there something? A napkin. Oh, that's. That's all right. Yeah, all right. you got napkins on hand. That's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I, that's I didn't, not the answer we were looking. Didn't grab for. a magazine. <laughs> <laughs> I have. <laughs> I'm not like it was Southern Living. <laughs> Better homes. <laughs> You're just dreaming about somewhere, somewhere else to live. <laughs> Man, if I could get my act together, I could live in this plantation house. You're like, ah, oh, I've got, I got a highlights around here somewhere <laughs> from Eating third spaghetti grade. Off an L magazine. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've used, you know, the lid to a Chinese container works perfectly as a, as a plate. Yeah. Uh-huh. Also perfectly. too, I've used, I've used pizza boxes for sure. Yeah. But those are meant to be plates, but not pizza. What's in there. That's fine. Like I've like made something and then like you just eaten off the top of the, like the pizza box was empty from the night before or whatever. All right, so the pizza box is it's sitting like sitting on the counter, like okay. ready to go out to the trash. I don't think what that you makes making? you trashy. I think it just means you're going through a hard time. It depends what it is. Hold I on. could be both. It. De- I don't. I don't. Maybe. I don't even know. I'm not eating like spaghetti. That's what I'm asking. Down. It's not spaghetti soup. It's yeah. just something. <laughs> <laughs> you're like. <laughs> I'm just sucking a cardboard box. <laughs> Taking bites out of it, <laughs> just sucking all the moisture it's out like and throwing it away. Crackers. Yeah, um, no, <laughs> which isn't it's, bad. <laughs> it's just something to f- serve as like a crumb catcher kind. I would say if I'm making this up, a toast. Yeah, or, yeah. whatever. But I'm saying I'm eating calling something your, that was garbage a minute ago. I will say calling your plate a crumb catcher is <laughs> is garbage, <laughs> without a doubt. It's the best thing. Hey, you got any crumb catchers beards. around here? That's what old guys say about their beard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my soup taster. <laughs> no, fucking trash call, bag. No, they call their mouth a soup cooler. <laughs> what? A yeah, soup cooler? a soup cooler. That's, yeah, the old soup cooler, I think it's called. Mm. How old are you? <laughs> Somebody on the last episode of October, people, I don't know if you, they said, Kim, he goes, you're just filled with these blue collar white trash sayings. <laughs> <laughs> soup coolers, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have a good time on the podcast. What do you want from me? We're having a fun time. And then this was also in the same the way. Vein. You said that I didn't believe you. you <laughs> it's like, time to take his. We're having a good time. <laughs> Everything's cool. <laughs> <laughs> 
My parents did the ultimate one of those to me last night. I called them. They were on their way somewhere, and they instantly got me off the phone like I knew something was wrong. They literally was like, hey, what's going on? Oh, we're just driving. And all of a sudden, all right, we'll talk to you later. <laughs> literally. Literally in that vein. And they hung up. Nothing in between? N- nothing. Literally. That was it. And I called her back, and I was like, what's going on? My mom's like, we're lost. <laughs> she didn't know how to use the GPS on her new iPhone. No, she just meant like personally. <laughs> <laughs> She's still trying to find herself. <laughs> she said they're driving. They're just sitting in the car. No, and for the sec- I don't know who I am anymore. <laughs> for the second time, she's whacked the antenna off of the Explorer coming out of the uh, garage because she puts it in there because of the snow. Second time yeah. she slipped it. Also, you saw you saw well, Yeah, when we, we went down to film, we did a Cribs at his childhood home. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> it's on the fucking Patreon. And... His mom was leaving. Like when we got there, she's like, "All right, I'll like leave us." And me and Toby were out front, like doing like the shot of the front right. of the house. And she was backing up and like <laughs> ended up like four houses down, like in the front yard. She hits the curb over every the time. curb. The cars rattle and his dad's bopping his head around. It was like a fucking ah, that's scene. Great. The thing I'm is- like, don't, "Don't!" I think we even got it on camera. I'm like, "Yo, she's about to go off the curb." <laughs> and like Toby just slowly panned and caught it. And she swears she does. She does it good. But when I went, when I was home last, I looked up the sides of the driveway where the grass are. There's like turf marks. Yeah, it's all and, mud and shit. Dude, yeah. she pulls out of there like she's pulling out of the hideout or something. <laughs> Jesus insane. Christ, she's doing a bank job. That's how I drove when I was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Never done that. <laughs> I'll buy, yeah. All right. We're moving on. <laughs> We've all parked in the yard, right? <laughs> <laughs> Once or can, twice on New Year's Eve. I don't, uh, you know, I don't want to admit anything here, but one night I- Mine woke, roses look good. I woke up at my mom. Like I was like living in my, I was in college or whatever. And like I woke up and I was like, all right. And I'm like, fuck, I don't know how the, you know. Yeah. Where am I? Well, when you say I woke up at my mom's, like you didn't expect to be there. We you lived knew. in California. It was weird. <laughs> <laughs> um, I woke up and I was like, oh, fuck, my car's not here. So I'm like, oh, I must have left it. at I think it was New Year's, actually. I was mm-hmm. like, I must have left it at, you know, fucking Steve's house or whatever. So to the was, living room? I was like, oh, I'll just walk to Steve's <laughs> house. And I go up, like I walk out my street, make a left and another left and my car was there. I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I, I parked somewhere else in my neighborhood and walked home for some reason. <laughs> oh, That's my God. Trash. Stay off drugs, folks. Yeah. Don't do them, kids. <laughs> Stay in school. Uh, the other one from Jacobs. Have you ever used a bowl to drink out of because you didn't have any clean glasses? I like it sometimes. It's because you're a cow. I've also, I also cows don't even drink out of bowls. I don't know why. I haven't, but I have done something way trashier. Uh, lay it on an ashtray. You run out of toilet paper and you use uh, coffee filters. That's not bad. Coffee filters. Listen, what I'm not saying it feels good. I'm no, saying I'm I made impressed. a decision. Yeah, that's I'm great. using paper towels like an asshole. No, I got real creative. But are they flushable? They I are. No. They are. Are they? Yes. I mean, I've tried it. Yeah. Hmm. No, I mean, we know they'll go down the toilet, but are they supposed to be flushable? No. Okay. I mean, it's toilet paper. Supposed to be? What do you yeah, do with the what, yeah? You what know, do you do with the coffee? If we're gonna play games. <laughs> I mean, that's not. I mean, that's you talk semantics with me, fat Yeah. <laughs> a coffee filter. That's smart. And also, who's got coffee filters in the house? That's pretty. That's pretty good. good. Well, for we were. Bu- I told you we were a camping family. For we one or two. Ah, uh, resourceful. Uh, I I'm sure it was probably number two because that's when you get creative like that. You yeah. know what I mean? Number two, yeah. you got you go. If you're hemmed up with a one, you can make do. Yeah. Or use a sock. I've heard people doing that. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Never do it. Yeah, if like I've had to shit in the woods a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I had to on. shit in the woods a couple of times. <laughs> all right, Joe Pesci. One of your <laughs> I got a toothpick all of a sudden. That's <laughs> another, another one of your so saying. I had, to shit, I had to shit in the woods the one time. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Toby, zoom in. <laughs> That's one of Kippy's new sayings. Yeah, I shit in the woods once or twice. What of it? <laughs> no, but you take your shoe off. You put your hand and you can like, whoosh, just, you can get a little scoop action. Oh, I never thought to do and it then like take that. Take the That's sock, throw it in the fucking bushes. <laughs> shoe goes back. Oh, hey, it's brutal. Hey, Mrs. Coffee, Talk relax, about will you? <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't use the, I didn't use the term. Fucking broad <laughs> shitting on me. I don't have to scoop my own shit out of my ass, all <laughs> Mrs. right? Mrs. Coffee. It's not a fucking ice cream bar. <laughs> have you ever pooped in the woods? Yeah. Pooping without the, you don't realize the buffer that that water gives in the bowl. A smell. Oh, yeah. yeah. Brutal. That's the whole yeah. point of the water. You know that, right? I didn't know that. Yeah, the whole point of the water is to keep the I smell. It was out. to get it out of the house. No, it's to keep the smell because the smell can't come. There's not water under that. The water only sits in the bottom of the toilet. Yeah. Right, but if there wasn't water, it would just sit there. Yeah, but the smell from the whole sewage system, the water stops the smell from the sewage system. Yeah. The pee trap. Itself. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. We're learning things. Yeah. 
Family of plumbers. Shout out to local 690. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? Don't cross the line. <laughs> <laughs> if you do, you're a fucking rat. <laughs> fucking scumbag. I'll shit fucking no, scab you. Think I won't shit in the woods? You think I won't shit in the woods? <laughs> Does a kippy shit in the woods? <laughs> <laughs> this has been a wacky episode, folks. Yeah. Does a kippy shit in the woods? Um, all right, let's see. This is from Joe. Have you ever taken a hair out of your food at a restaurant and kept eating the meal? Yeah, but that was just to be agreeable. Yeah. To who? To just you not know, cause a scene just or whatever. To not to be exactly what people think I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have, can you send this back face yeah. for sure? Yeah. I want the restaurant I'm like, closed I'm gonna, by tomorrow. I'm going to break down stereotypes today and yeah, just eat and this. just eat this hair. Yeah. Mm, I get it. Um, it's funny you mention that. Recently, like this week, uh, I was at home and my girlfriend had prepared something. Mm-hmm. And one of her hairs was in there. Yeah. Pubes? <laughs> <laughs> Sprinkle them on. <laughs> a little garnish with uh, paprika? Sprinkle them on like food of cocky. Uh, one of her hairs was definitely in it, and I just kept eating it. Yeah. It's well, her hair, that's though. Fu- yeah, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. It's fine. It is what it is. It's Somebody else's. Sure, you guys have exchanged DNA before. It's yeah. not. Uh... It's true. <laughs> um, all right, this is from, from Michael. Wee wee. Uh, this is from Michael. Uh, this is just a funny. Did your doorbell ever not work for longer than a six month period? Oh yeah, really? I don't think my doorbell ever worked <laughs> until recently. Get up to that house, you press the button, it just goes too far. You're like, yeah. what the, you can feel there's no resistance behind it. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I remember our doorbell broke, and my mom never fixed it. She just never. She just put um, uh, Christmas decorations on the doorbell so that it, like or on the door handle. So when you opened it, a bunch of like jingles, reindeer jingles. Oh, happened. That's pretty good. Made sneaking out impossible. Sounds yeah. like a general store. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, you know when someone you comes walk in, in how you're you like, doing, folks? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're in a western. Yeah. You make an announcement. Oh, that's yeah. Mom, that's what's bad. for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> you're like old man Rivers is fucking shot up the bar down the way. At Rose the old Bud drove drunk again. <laughs> <laughs> She's down in the well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> Rosebud stole the mayor's car again. Yeah. <laughs> Quick, we got to get downtown. I was waiting for you to chime in with your prospector voice. Come on. Yeah. You've been fucking workshopping it for a month now. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty good one. Uh, how many doorbells did you have? We had what two. What the fuck? We had, two? Yeah, Why? we had two doorbells. We had like the- What do you mean? We had the small one. One on the dishwasher? I don't know. <laughs> we had a small one. A small one? And then like a bigger one. For, did you have what? two entrances? What's no? That? They were at the same entrance. The one was like the intercom system. I guess. We what had for when regular bozos came around? I don't you had know. an intercom system. Mm-hmm. That's classy. I'm surprised you didn't. I would expect yeah. you to. It, well, it depends on that. We talked about yeah, this. Yeah, this is at why I'm, I'm jealous. You could see that. Yeah, she was like, in "You had an intercom." Hold on, <laughs> just a fucking second. No, um, in the '80s, my parents had some cash. And they got a house built, and that was like state of the art technology for like a week. Right, it was like, oh, you'll be able to intercom each room or whatever. Okay, but tell her the rest of it. It also went to the neighbors. Like the, our back deck, you could talk to the neighbors' front deck, kind of. It was like a cul-de-sac, and everybody was supposed to know each other. It was supposed to be like a little like. You guys had walkie-talkies installed in installed your installed in your house. Ultimately, is what it was with a cassette player. Yeah, How yeah, weird yeah. is that? That is fucking weird. You yeah. gotta see the console in this. That's kitchen. very it's, weird. It's, re- it's hidden. I, it's like you don't see it because like the the one door covers it all the time, but it's tra- It's like wooden. That is the weirdest. It's such. Shit. It was cool. It was weird. it was hot for probably a weekend in the eighties, mm-hmm. and they were like, "Let's put them in this house," and it just it's the trash. Probably because of the Cold War. You wanted to be able to coordinate. It's like people people <laughs> in Cold War. In case the Russians invade. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. I was like, this feels like some government interference does, shit, yeah. where they sell you something and then you buy it and then you go, "Oh wait, we have phones." Yeah, it was similar. Yeah, I don't. We never used it. I don't even know if it ever fully worked. Some kind of early warning system. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Well, they never got us, so it, it See worked. the cops coming down the street. Bunch of <laughs> burn it, burn it. <laughs> Who knew what my dad was doing? <laughs> Janie, if your son's over there, tell him to get underneath the c- covers. <laughs> Kippy shits in the woods. That's the, <laughs> that's the code. <laughs> Send there. That's like the that's, that's the that's the flipping pigeons of a cul-de-sac. <laughs> is get on the intercom system to the neighbors. Absolutely. Heat's coming around the corner. All right, let's do a couple. two doorbells. Yeah, we had the big one and then the little I, one. That doesn't even make sense. So we sense. had like the ding dong, and then we had the like uh, like the longer song, if you wanted to be classical. 
Mm -hmm. That's crazy. I don't know. The what classical you want. doorbells are definitely trash. I think the doorbells, song doorbells the in general stink. You knock. Get a knocker. Knockers are classy. Knock. Yeah, you knock. Doorbells are for big houses, though. True. You know, True. Mm -hmm. you can't you can't hear a, a knock. knock from the West Wing. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Growing up, we had over a the screams of the maid. <laughs> <laughs> somebody's over the over the over somebody's the always trying to unionize. Somebody's always being paid to vacuum. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, that's enough. This isn't even this isn't a Patreon. But at any point at any of the houses you had the vacuum system. In yep. the wall, yes, really, we did have that. Did we have? Did we talk about absolutely this on the first had one that? No? We definitely had that, that. Was my neighbor had that? That it was, was the best. something else. So jealous. You just put the tube in the wall. Yeah, uh, and oh. if you had little siblings, you tell them to put their ear up against it. All of a sudden, they're screaming for fucking their life. Ear. Yeah. What the fuck it's is a lot wrong of fun. with you? Broad's you put a cheek up or something. Yeah. Or your wee wee in there. <laughs> yeah. That's the, that's the real. Oh, my mom had ours taken out when I hit puberty. <laughs> <laughs> she had it decommissioned. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn kids fucking the wall again. They're like, oh, we found, stop. we found cum in your vacuum system again. I'm going to have to shut that down. Well, Mrs. Ryan, don't know how to tell you this, but uh, I'm eating it out. You got two pounds of cum in your, uh, <laughs> <laughs> in your vacuum system. <laughs> <laughs> You're all clogged up. We've seen this all over the neighborhood. You're just sitting on the couch with a big smile on your face. <laughs> Does a kippy come in the vacuum? It's a God, you got yourself a classic class of 2002 in here. <laughs> oh, that is some good. I was old so jealous stuff. of that man. My b one buddy's mom had it. It was the richest thing I'd ever seen in my life. Yeah, yeah. That unbelievable. And what else is big? Do you have a laundry chute? No. <sighs> what? A laundry chute. Laundry chute is old money. Yeah, laundry. Would you have a dumb waiter too? No, a lot of people. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people. Not a lot of people, but they were relatively common. I would say they were probably as common as the vacuum in the fucking house. No, they were. Yeah, a laundry yes. chute. Yeah, because they were like, uh, they, it's like old houses. You know what I mean? If you bought like an old house with old money, mm -hmm. you had a laundry chute, a dumb waiter, and that and that like vacuum system. That place is definitely on it. For I, sure. I, I mean, had a good comes with, It comes with Victorian ghosts, but. <laughs> <laughs> good day, my lad. <laughs> For Get sure. Get out, please. <laughs> um, I had some pretty rich friends growing up, and none of them ever had. A lot of them had the fucking vacuum in the wall. Nobody had a fucking laundry chute. I know we would have been diving down it every three seconds. Yeah. Yeah. I think my neighbor might have. I don't know. Laundry chute. Yeah. That or Jesus. did you have uh, dog doors were trashy. I always thought they were. We never trashy. had dog doors. My buddy had them. And we always had dogs. No dogs. <laughs> you have a dog door, no dog. <laughs> yeah. My buddy had them. We always used to break into his house to get stuff. I don't, honestly, I don't understand it. I don't trust it. Bugs and anything could fit Well, you don't trust it because you can't fit through it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Foley's leg stuck in there. This stinks. <laughs> what kind of dog is this? No, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't feel, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. No yeah. one would just that thing out to the outside. If get you do here. have a dog door, though, and this is just for devil's advocate. If you have a dog door, that means you trust your neighbors enough to feel like you're never going to get robbed. Sure. Well, so that's, yeah, we were in a you're, you got to have a squirrel it in a, or something. Can't be, you, you can't be doing it in fucking you know Bed Stuy, Brooklyn, or whatever. Right. You can't have a dog door. Right. The nice rats would be coming in. Yeah, it's got to be a nice neighborhood. Yeah. So I think dog doors probably are a little classy. I don't know. You got to be class. It's a trashy decision from a classy home. Hmm. I don't hate that. That's pretty good. Yeah. Rosebud's had a couple. A couple of fucking couple, perspective changers. Couple of <laughs> we're, we're used to like real trash. She can walk in both worlds. You know what I mean? Yeah. Real poignant. Yeah, I'm a real uh, <laughs> shapeshifter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. This is from Charlie. Have you ever rented movies? Talk about politics. <laughs> you see all the smokes out of your pocket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is from Charlie. Have you ever rented movies from the library? What library? Any library. You mean where the books are? <laughs> That's what I think he means. Who the fuck's renting movies? I, don't, I, I never have. They have. They have. Movies? I highly doubt Rosebud ever has. No. Nah. Yeah. Yeah, I think you can go rent like movies. What? Yeah, T Bone shaking his head. Yeah. Really? Oh my. Really? T Bone? Oh. What are you done a lot? Like fucking the bridge over the river quiet. Yeah, I feel like, like it's old, gotta be yeah. like some like ballet. You know, they, they don't have new releases, yeah. I know that much. You weren't watching Encino Man or Space Jam, I could tell you that much. You're watching somebody's kids dance recital. <laughs> <laughs> Poor T Bone can't defend T Bone T Bone can't defend himself. I, know. I heard you got a small wee wee too, T Bone. <laughs> <laughs> Get him, huh? T Bone, zoom in. All right. No, I never did that. I missed the library though. Can I say that? 
for as much as as, as little as I've read. We well, know they've been open this whole fucking yeah. time. I know, but you know. I love that they left the libraries open during COVID because they were just like, yeah, nobody yeah, comes. Yeah, we only here. get two people. We get two people a month anyway. We're <laughs> we're under we're under the limitations. We live in quarantine. The idea of a library back in the day was nice. Yeah. Well, the right. idea of it is still nice. I but going there is a different thing. Some riffraff. I never got the Dewey Decimal System either. I can never what, figure Kramer? that out. Kramer? Yeah. What? Yeah, that's a Kramer line. Is it? A Dewey Decimal System well, is a real definitely scam. definitely an 80s bit. I'll yeah. tell you that. <laughs> I was being genuine. I never What's understood it. What's with the it. Dewey Decimal System? I never understood it. I was being genuine. Okay, I'm sorry. I was making that. Yeah, What's we, with Reagan? We're very I'm sorry. All <laughs> right? right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, what's going on here? There we go. What an we're asshole. Um, <laughs> this is Mike Dukakis. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, we're having a good time. All right, let's do two I meant that genuinely. Okay, yeah, it's, it's fine. Um, this is from Doug. Have you ever given or received a hickey? Bonus points if your mom or dad tried to kill you for hat like. Did you ever have one at a bad time? I'm sure you've had one at some point. Oh, yeah. Did you ever have one where it was like an embarrassment? I mean, I've had one in the last year. Oh. A hickey? Yeah. Why? She's a hooey! <laughs> Why? <laughs> I was hooking up with an old guy. Uh, well, it wasn't in the last year. It was the last two years. Well, yeah, you just kind of- I just got married, oh, so- Oh, yeah. Just you to be really clear. just fudged up your timeline there. <laughs> <laughs> but my husband's not exactly, you know, a spring chicken. Good looking kid though. Good looking kid. Tight body. He's got yeah. a body. He's got a swimmer's body. He's yeah, got, he like, does. A Phelps body. He actually has like a like a 1930s boxer body. You know what I mean? That's a good look. He looks he like he looks like a butler in the 30s. He's got yeah. like a broad chest and looks like he can like move a hay bale. Yeah, you know what I mean, like, like a year or two after the depression where he's putting on a little bit of weight. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah, exactly. Yeah, I can I can see it. Yeah, if he could yeah. grow a mustache, man, let me tell you, it would be would, a hand, it would be like the like the you know, absolutely. It would be oh, he school. could be old timey. Yeah, yeah, he really could. He's got that hairline too. Yeah, it's good. It's mm-hmm. good stuff. Um, I only had a hickey once or twice. I didn't really see much in it. I've seen people with them fucking. I've got, I've gotten them bad as adults to where I had to like. I've always got. I've gotten like two as of. As an adult, who gave you a hickey? Not my. Why? I mean, it was before. You know, that is. Yeah, in my twenties. So funny when married people have to remember like their past hookups. They get they get this weird like. Like, uh, 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 I know. Well, he like said nervous. adult, and I started thinking of like, well, how old am I? And like, I'm well, like, it's, it wasn't... well, I'm technically an adult when I'm 23 or 24 <laughs> oh, okay, or 25. All right. I thought you meant or 29. Like... <laughs> um, <laughs> or 32. Yeah. Um, but I had one at, cr- like, I've gotten them, I had one at Thanksgiving. Uh-huh. The night before Thanksgiving, the big party night, you know. Yeah. I've had one at Thanksgiving. You see the people from high school you hook up with that you And then you're like wearing with. a turtleneck or like, a, you know, you're, and you're like, there's no way around it. You're trying to put the spoons you in the You show freezer, up for dinner. You just, you're like, I always wear a turtleneck and a vest. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, that's that's who I am. That's my new thing. <laughs> that and Christmas, at a, our family Christmas party. And my family's huge, so we have our Christmas parties like 200 people. Yeah. And like, I like had like my collar popped or something. Everybody's right. like. Right away, like ripped it. What's that? Oh my god, god. Yeah, it's I embarrassing. Thought, I thought you got the hickey there. Am I fool for you? Shout out to Uncle John. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, they keep that mistletoe rule pretty strict. I <laughs> 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 walk under there, uh, but Uncle Mitch is around. <laughs> He'll get you. Hey, I don't. I don't hate it. Uncle Mitch. <laughs> yeah, if you got an Uncle Mitch, he's he's on a list. Um. <laughs> That and Randy. Uh, this is from Mark B. This will be the last one. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyone in your family have vanity license plates? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, my mom. Uh, what did it yeah. say? Six chicks. Never that was heard. our vanity plate. Well, you have five sisters, five girls? Five girls and then my mom. Six chicks. Six chicks. She had it on a big red Suburban. That's not that bad. It's not? No, six chicks is It bad. ain't good. It's not that bad. No when, vanity plate is great. That's no. the, the fact that you're trying. Yeah, they're not. It's not cool. You know, anything it's one step above a bumper sticker. It's a legal bumper sticker is what it, it's a government issued bumper. sticker. Yeah, it is. Yeah. However, there is some degree to it. Like that's a little bit. I think it's based on family. So I kind of get it. You're not the, doing the like worst, number one birds fan or something. The, right. yeah, the, the worst ones are the ones where they're trying to be a jerk off, you know, like your girls next or something like that. You know what I mean? You never saw that. Your yeah. girl's next? I'm not saying it right. When it's, Jesus when they, Christ. Sure, where it's a shot at yeah, the, yeah, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody's yeah. like, run the plates. Let's see if there's a background on this guy. <laughs> They're like, oh, I, he's got a vanity oh, plate. It says, your girl's yeah. next. <laughs> Never mind. We don't need to check anymore. Yeah. Sorry, this might be the killer. It's clearly, <laughs> it's clearly got a couple bodies in the yeah. trunk. He's at, apparently, he's having sex with my wife right now. <laughs> 
<laughs> or he's on his way there. I'm not sure. <laughs> Either way, I'm glad I intercepted the man. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember those things in the the sayings on the front of the car on the on the windshield? At the top. That's where I got that from. But I was trying to use that. I was Back trying to use that. Back in the day, they would put lettering at the top where like the the, the yeah. Uh, oh yeah 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 where the shade is or like the tint is it's the always on tint. the back of a pickup pickup was real big and i never forget i never knew what this was until i found out later we were down the shore in sea well that's how things work out you I, know <laughs> you're gonna be a stickler right now <laughs> minute 62 you're gonna start breaking my fucking balls rosebud <laughs> Um, I never quick. knew what this was until somebody told me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it took me. I didn't. It stuck in my head, and we were walking out, and there was a Jetta, uh, and it said Ron Jeremy on the back of it. Mm-hmm. And I never knew what Ron Jeremy was, but all my older cousins were laughing, like, "Yo, do you fucking see that?" Because they were like teenagers, when yeah. You, you know. So I was like, and it stuck in my head, and then I was like, somebody, some fucking wacko is driving around with Ron Jeremy on the back of their car in big yellow letters. That's insane. Are you not following what I'm saying We're here? We're following no. it. We're following it. But, but Ron- you didn't know who he was. I didn't know who Ron Jeremy was. I thought that was like a skate company or something like that. He's is a it- porn star. No, I know, but isn't it written- Ron John. First of all, he's a director and an artist. <laughs> and apparently uh, <laughs> a bit big, of a rapist. Big dirt ball. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's got a lot of titles. <laughs> I might be thinking of a different sticker that says Ron something, almost in like Chinese letter. Yeah, Ron John. Ron, Ron John, John Surf Shop. Is that what shop. it is? Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. No, I'm saying somebody had Ron Jeremy's name on their car in big yellow letters hmm. as a kid. I feel but like you you're not d- giving me what, I, you, what I'm uh, looking for. Guess, here. Well, nobody really I, knows I, what to say. They're just going, oh, you found out who Ron Jeremy was. Uh, so I, would also, I would also like an appreciation of, yeah, it's pretty crazy somebody was driving around with a porn star's name on their Jetta. It's the 80s. What it do you want? It is a little... That's a lot. That's a, there we go. There yeah. we go. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. Okay. Somehow it's less annoying than the honor roll shit, though. What did you think? What's... The honor roll. My kid's an honor roll. Yeah. yeah your kid's my... a douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> a fucking <laughs> exactly. Wedgie. He comes around my parts. Yeah. So, right? Tell him to hit the bricks. <laughs> yeah. Around, around our area, you see a lot of the peewee football things. Like the peewee football logos, like on the back of people's trucks. Yeah. Oof. A lot of Trump 2020 signs, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Those yeah. dads hit. Yeah. Those dads hit. Yeah. All right, well, that was it. Weird Let's ending. do one more. All right, we'll do one more. <laughs> uh, that one really ran out of Ron gas. Jeremy yeah. story. <laughs> well, you were like sitting there like I was giving a fucking deposition. You're like, I don't know. Just yes, then, understand. stick and move. I didn't understand what you, you meant. You set it up. Didn't he set it up like it was going to be a longer story? Yeah, so what did you think Ron Jeremy was? I didn't know. You I just, just thought, thought it was like a car manufacturer or something. And then I was doing a little <laughs> Google search Ron Jeremy as Toyota. I got older <laughs> and found out that he's a porn star with a huge eye. You're like, was it oh. just one car or multiple cars? One lo- car. You're looking at you're, you're looking at like porn later on in life. Yeah, and I'm like, like here's the Toyota guy, dealer. This is the guy. Yeah. <laughs> I saw his Jetta down the shore. He's so fucking talented. Yeah. Maybe it was really Ron. This Jeremy. guy's giving away cars. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, we got two from. Uh, we'll do two from the. Fa- or we'll do one from the Facebook group. This is from Rich. Is it garbage to cut your fingernails with scissors? What the fuck? So yeah, what's a I mean, what's a fucking fingernail clipper? Take the, it back. The, the, Seventy nine cents. On, I'll tell on. you why it's garbage. How fucking long are your fingernails? That you can get under there. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the okay. I've seen little scissors that have a little hook on them that are for fingernails. That's not for that. I don't think. I think it is. Isn't it? Thank for you. Cu- yeah. Cuticles. But it's not for your why, you? fingernail it's necessarily. For- that's for cuticle. How do you fucking cut your cuticles with scissors? I wouldn't do it. Oh, oh my skin just, my blood just ran cold. I don't even like to snip them because they feel weird. I like to bite them. Oh, well, it looks like you're a couple well, that's of weeks garbage. behind. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This kid's got some <laughs> fucking. Little snack after the show, huh? <laughs> this kid's got some hangers on like, him. <laughs> Yikes. Like I'm saving lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Gang, that is the show this week. You guys are absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Rosebud, thank you Ribs for sitting bacon. in with us. Thank you. What do you got? Uh, you got uh, Zany's National, March 14th, recording yeah. your album. Yeah, I'm going to be recording that album. There's Tickets are available on my website, rosebudbaker.com, and on Zany's website, uh, which is, you just look up Nashville Zany's. And um, and then my podcast, Find Your Beach, with my hubs, Andy Haynes. There you go. We yeah. love it. Thank you, buddy. Thanks great, for having great me. Great fucking episode. This A lot great of Great times. Kippy, what do you got for him? Uh, at Kevin Ryan Comedy on all social media. And then, you know, rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. And then Patreon.com. You can sign up. Get involved. Cards are going out this week, baby. They're going out. We love you guys. Thank you for all the support this month. It's been a... It's been a great month, and we appreciate it. It's good to be back here at Tootie's. Nice to be back at Tootie's. Yeah, I can <laughs> smell the Newports. T-Bone, you got anything? <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> it's great to see you, buddy. We love you. It's, great to, see you, it's great to be back here. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. Bye.
Hold on there, kids. Don't go jumping ship just yet. Mm-hmm. want to talk to you one more time about the good times over there on the stereo Ooh-wee. app. Gang, here's the good news. Doesn't matter whether you have an iPhone or an Android. Mm-hmm. You can download the app. You can sign up for free. Yeah, guys. It's a great app. There's a lot of good stuff on there. We're on there every week answering your garbage questions. It's a great way to get involved with the show. We chop it up. I have a couple of beers. I know that much. Kid has a couple of pops over there on the Let stereo Let my hair app. come down. It's a good time. I look forward to it every week. You can sign up the link. Use the link in the description of the app. We get to wet our beaks. You guys get involved. It's a good time. See you there. Peace. Peace.